Now, before the break, Rick showed us one of the top-rated softwares for teaching typing skills. I guess we can call them keyboarding skills now. Did you improve your skills, get any faster? Well, Suzanne, I'm still hovering around 50 words a minute, but okay. I talked to one of the world's fastest typists, and he's got some information for you that can help you master the keyboard. Ron Typewriter Mingo is one of the fastest typists in the world. He easily cruises along at 165 words per minute on a manual typewriter. We'll marvel at a man who can type faster than most people can talk. You may have seen him over a decade ago on shows like The Muppets or Real People. How many words? Too many. The man at the head of the class is Ron Typewriter Mingo. And when it comes to typing, Ron is in the class all by himself. Ron's been typing his whole life. He took a brief detour as a professional football player in the 1960s and tried boxing for a while, which he gave up after sparring with George Foreman. But his true love has always been typing and sharing that passion with kids who are always amazed by his speed. People are always asking, say, Mingo, huh, man, how in the world do you type so fast? And always tell them, hard work. Here it is, 1997. And my students are still asking. Say, Mr. Mingo, man, how in the world do you type so fast? And I'm still telling them, hard work. Ron teaches at Skyline High School in Oakland, California. Hands in position. His students average about 65 words per minute after taking his class. His classroom is quieter after the switch from typewriters to computers, but Ron doesn't use any fancy software to help him teach. Well, the computer programs, if, if you just want to leave it to the computer program, just stick it in and stick the kid there, they might not really take to it. The way I teach is, is live instruction, and that's, that's the only way I do it. I, we do have programs that I could use, but with me being here, I know that they're going to get it because I'm giving it to them, and that's a step at a time. They have to type when I'm looking at their keys. So I take them a step at a time. I take them a row at a time, home row, the top row, the bottom row. So when I turn them loose, I know they know the keys, and they can type when I'm looking at the keys. Whereas a computer program, it's left up to them. Ready? Go. T-O-D-O-S-O-M-E. Ron Absolutely. teaches ghost typing, where the cardinal rule is never look at your keys. Keep your eyes in the book at all times. All right, give me the home row, nice and slow, but sharp. Go. All right, very good. You should sound like one. Give me the home roll like you know it. Students are sometimes intimidated or discouraged by the unfamiliar keyboard. You could say T-H-E, or you type it as a word, just roll it. But Ron, who is toured as a motivational speaker, has an infectious enthusiasm for typing that conquers their fears. All right, let's do that, please. I tell them at the end of the year, do you know you're going to be typing 75 words per minute? I said, Mr. Mingo, I don't even know the keyboard. I said, well, don't worry about that. Just believe in yourself, and let's work real hard when we get there. And I motivate the kids here at the school. I say, you want to earn a little extra money? Type up some of your classwork for English and social studies. And then tell your friends, hey, man, I can type that work up for you a couple of dollars. And some of them become young entrepreneurs, and they're in here at lunchtime, sometimes early in the morning, and they're typing up other students' work, making a little lunch money. Money always works. But Ron knows it's just one measure of success. It's not only about typing. And in my class, I don't only teach about typing. I let my students know that you only have one, op one opportunity to make a first impression. And to always work hard. And we use the Army slogan, too. Be the best that you can be, not sometime, but all the time. Uh, I want them to be the best that they could be in this class, the best that they could be in other classes, and to believe in themselves in anything that they do. Now, I teach a philosophy to be the best in whatever you do and to definitely believe in yourself. With a class average of 65 words a minute, he's already made plenty of believers. That is amazingly fast. It's more than three oh, yeah, times faster than, okay. than average. What's the world record, if there is one? Well, in 1923, a lady by the name of Margaret Owens typed 170 words per minute on a manual 
And currently there's a lady by the name of Barbara Blackburn who does 200 words per minute, but it's not on this type of keyboard, it's on a, a, a Dvorak type of keyboard. And she works for State Farm Insurance in a typing pool. <laughs> Oh so it's just God. amazing how people, how fast they Well, it, how much does the keyboard have to do with it then in terms of speed? If, if a record was set back in 23. Well, uh, that's the thing. I mean, it's really just, like uh, Ron said, hard work. Mm -hmm. and you just got to put your time in and eventually you'll master the keyboard. Focus, people. Focus. Okay. Thank you, Rick.